I'm riding a little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. <laughs> Where's them washers you got for the bathroom faucets? Oh, in the left-hand drawer. You mean you're finally getting around to fixing those leaky faucets? No, I'm going down to have a game with Charlie and Floyd. We're short a couple of black checkers. <laughs> you keep after me. I'll get them leaky faucets fixed one of these days. Oh, good. I like to have it done before water becomes obsolete. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Joe. Mom, Mom, you'll never guess what happened. Here, look at this. Head of lettuce, six tomatoes, two cucumbers, and a gallon of kerosene. Ah, oh, the, uh, the salad's all right, but I sure don't care for that dressing. <laughs> that was the order Mr. Drecker took over the phone. Read the other side. Oh. Tell Billy Joe Sid Sparks has set audition at Flamingo Room Springdale Hotel tomorrow, Tuesday, 3 p.m. Audition to what? Well, to sing. Mom, don't you remember? Mr. Sparks was the agent who was interested after Steve and I won the talent contest. Guess he still hasn't given up on me. Well, I guess he hasn't. Huh. But you're certainly not considering this, are you? Oh, you're considering it. Well, wouldn't any girl? Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, sit on him. Do you have any idea what you're letting yourself in for? Well, of course I do. An exciting, glamorous, wonderful career. Well, I could be in show business, Mom. Maybe even a star. Stars fall, you know. Oh, but I wouldn't. I know it. You know, I haven't told anybody this, but ever since Steve and I won that contest, my whole life has changed. People I barely know come up to me and tell me how much they like me. Imagine, perfect strangers. Do you know a couple of them even wanted my autograph? What about Steve? Oh, he has his career. It's flying. What about your secretarial school? Oh, Mom, well, how can you compare that to show business? I mean, how many people want your autograph because you can type 80 words a minute? <laughs> Mom, are you trying to tell me not to take this opportunity? Sweetie, I'm thinking only of your own good when I say I'd rather you passed it up. Well, is that an order or a suggestion? Well, since you're 21, I guess it's a suggestion. Oh, thanks, Mom. That's just how I'll take it. Mm. <laughs> An order or a suggestion? Huh. Only there didn't used to be any difference between the two. Um, that's your audition outfit? Mm -hmm. I worked half the night on it. Well, anybody to wish me luck? Oh, of course, dear. Good luck. I think it's just thrilling having a star for a sister. Me too. I'd give you my lucky never fail rabbit's foot to carry. But I lost it to Sam Drucker in a checker game. <laughs> Aren't you wishing me luck? I wish you luck. I'll see you to the train. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you later. Bye. 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 Mom, you don't seem to be too happy about this. Well, whatever's to be, will be. This whole thing could be a boon to our airline dynasty. We could fly charter flights to wherever Billy Joe is appearing. Las Vegas, Miami, Crabwell Corners, Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong? Sure. Say, that reminds me. I gotta send for a catalog and check the price of pontoon. <laughs> Make it, kid. You got showbiz in your blood. Comes from me. Congratulations. 
Oh, yes. Congratulations, honey. When do you start? Well, that's not exactly decided yet. Oh? Well, you know how it is. There are a couple of other girls that are going to audition, and we have to be fair. Oh, sure they have to be fair. Oh, but I'm in, Mom. Mr. Sparks said so himself. He said, kid, you're in. <laughs> that's showbiz talk. Yes. You're sure it's not showbiz double talk? Well, Mom, don't be so pessimistic. I'll prove it to you. They said I didn't even have to call them. They'd call me and let me know what time I go on. They'll call you, uh... Mm -hmm. No later than 10 o'clock Thursday. I gave them the number at Drecker's. Well, what are we all standing here for? Let's go up to the hotel and celebrate. Sounds <laughs> great. Isn't that great? What's the matter, Kate? Oh, I get it. You were secretly hoping that Billy Joe wouldn't make it, huh? No, it's, it's just that I seem to remember a show business phrase, don't call us, we'll call you, and as I remember, it isn't good. Well, it can't be bad. Figure it out. A call clear for Springdale is a cool 35 cents. If they want a place they're called at their end of the line, let them be spendthrifts. <laughs> Sam, have you heard any word yet? Uh, no, uh, no word yet, Keith. And uh, I don't like to complain, but Billy Joe's been in here a dozen times asking about that phone call, and Bobby Joe almost as many. And Betty Joe, I had to send her on a delivery just to get her out of the place. I'm sorry, Sam, but it is important. What time is it? That's time. Oh, uh, 10 o'clock. <laughs> and, 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 and it is Thursday. Yeah, all day. Yeah. Should be calling by now. He said he wouldn't call any later. It's him. Hello, Sam Drucker's store. Drucker's mother speaking. I, 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 I mean, Billy Joe Bradley's mother. Oh, it's for you. Somebody wants to give an order. Well, if she's a grocery store. Make it short, Sam. Hello? Hold on, Miss Gibney. Yeah, uh, uh, just a second. All right, what was that? A pound of walnuts, and a head of lettuce, and a jar of marmalade. Keep it short, Sam. Yeah, I, I got it, Mrs. Gibney. Uh, a pound of walnuts, head of lettuce, short, Sam. a jar of marmalade, and a short sack. <laughs> Please. Oh, uh, 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 excuse me, Mrs. Gibney. Yeah, uh, Sarah's cutting in. I'll call you right back. Here. Hello, Sarah. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. She just called to say that there wasn't any word yet. Uh, it sure don't look good, Kate. I just don't understand people like that. He knows how much this means to Billy Joe. Well, I saw a Jack Oakey movie once, and his agent said, don't call us, we'll call you. And he didn't call him through the whole picture. And I saw Oakey's next picture, and he still hadn't called him. <laughs> I've got a good mind to call that Mr. Sparks myself. Well, that's good thinking, Kate. That's what I kept wishing Jack would do. <laughs> On the other hand, maybe it's just as well. I'm not at all sure that I want Billy Joe in this kind of business. Yeah, I know what you mean, Kate. I saw another picture once about a singer. She started out all bright-eyed and full of zip, and from there she just went down, down, down. And finally she sunk so low. Damn! You're not cheering me up. <laughs> oh, my, sorry. A drunker store? Yes, Sarah, she's still here. It's him. Hello, Mrs. Sparks. This is Billy Joe's mother. Yeah, and I want to talk to you about my daughter's career before we do anything definite. I don't have to worry about that. Because why? Oh, I see. Uh huh. Yeah, I see. Oh, sure, I understand, but what I thought was that you'd. It's quite definite. Well, thank you for calling, Mr. Sparks. They don't want to... They want somebody with a name who can draw a crowd. Billy Joe has a name. Oh, sure she has. Billy Joe Bradley. That's three names. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's a load off your mind. Huh? I mean, I guess you're relieved, you know, about Billy Joe not going into show business. I am not. How dare they turn down my daughter? Why, Billy Joe can sing with the best of them. Oh, where did he get the nerve to talk about my Billy Joe that way? And where am I going to get the nerve to tell Billy Joe that he talked about my Billy Joe that way?
I, uh, <clears throat> I guess I am. Well, what did he say? Who? Mr. Spark. Oh, him. What did he say? Well, he said hello after I said hello, and then I said... Mom, are you sure you talked to him? Well, of course I'm sure if I talked to him. Well, what did you talk about? Uh, about two minutes. <laughs> Mom, you've got bad news. What ever would put such a notion into your head? Do you think your mother would keep something from you? She might. She did. <laughs> I didn't get the job. Oh, Mom, I can just stop Oh, honey, it, it's really not as bad as you're making it. Mr. Austin thought you had a lovely voice and made a wonderful appearance. Well, if that's true, then why didn't I get the job? Well, uh, because, um, well, show business is different from other business. It just doesn't happen overnight. Well, then there's still hope that something might happen? Well, of course it's... As a matter of fact, I'm sure something will happen. Flamingo Room. Yes, this is the manager speaking. Look, I don't care who you are. If you want something on your bill, you'll just have to get in line. <laughs> oh, you want to make a reservation? <laughs> well, that's different. Uh, a thousand pardons, sir. Now, uh, I'm sure we can find you a nice table. What night and how many? In the night who sing? Billy Joe Bradley. But we don't have any Billy Joe Bradley singing here. You're sorry. <laughs> I'm sick. The worst reservation we've had in a week and we blow it. Well, I don't know if it did any good or not. He did seem kind of disappointed when I canceled the reservation. Well, that's all right. <laughs> you can't expect to win him over in one phone call. Your turn, Uncle Joe. Don't forget, the prime time rates are 35 cents for three minutes. What a skin, Flint. You don't worry about money matters in a time of crisis. Put it on Kate's bill. <laughs> so, Sarah, this is Joe Carson. Get me the Flamingo Room in Springdale. Flamingo Room, this is Joe Carson, president of the Carson Elliott Enterprises. Industrialist and international playboy. <laughs> Heard you got a singer opening over there by the name of Billy Joe Bradley. What? You haven't got her? Well, I guess there's no use in me flying my jet set friends in there. We're going to make reservations. What? Yeah, we caught her over at the London Palladium. She was a smash. You don't ever do it. Caught her again in Sydney, Australia, in the pouch room of the Kangaroo Hotel. <laughs> I do, Pete. I was just starting to roll. Sounded like a nut. But he was a nut that wanted to make a reservation, and that kind of nut we can use more of. Hey, look, what is a Billy Joe Bradley? Will you tell me? I got it. That girl you auditioned, the one Sid Sparks brought her out, her name was Billy Joe Bradley. And you let me turn her down? Why? Why? You said she was a nothing, nobody. Well, what do I know? <laughs> he has friends, fans, a playboy even. And you know what playboys do. They spend money. They sit around and yell, wine, more wine. And the cash register goes, tinkle, tinkle. And the creditors get smiles on their faces. And you find that girl. Find Sid Sparks and tell him to have that girl here by Saturday night or he's fired. He doesn't work for us. All right. We'll hire him and then we'll fire him. Now find that girl. And you go. Hello. I mean, uh, hello. <laughs> Miss Billy Joe Bradley? Yes, ma'am. She'll be appearing here on Saturday night. <laughs> oh, you're bringing a large party? Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Don't look now, but we're in. Billy Joe is appearing in the Flamingo Room Saturday night. Kate, I gotta hand it to you. And Joe, I gotta hand it to you, too. What's this? A bill for them phone calls. <laughs> oh, don't panic. I don't expect to collect. Well, Billy Joe? Yes, Mom, yes? As they say in showbiz, kids, you're in. Oh, that's terrific. Do they really want me? They really do. Yep, but first they said Billy Joe wasn't a name. But after we... Hey, you stepped on me with your foot. <laughs> Sorry. I meant to use both feet. <laughs> what did you mean, Uncle Joe? Nothing, dear, nothing. But he was about to say something about my name. What about it? Is it too Hooter Village? Well, well it, it, it could, could be that, but, but forget it. Forget it. 
He's hired you, and we're all going to be there, and so are our friends, and we're going to be very, very proud of you. And that's all that counts, isn't it? I guess so. Come on. Billy Joe Bradley. Billy Joe Bradley. <laughs> Broadly? Yes. Billy Joe? What are you doing? I'm trying to pick out a name for myself. You've got a name. Professionally, I mean. It's got to be something glamorous, something big. Oh, how about Sandy Koufax? <laughs> That's big. You know, you two aren't helping. Colette. Yvette. Me staying good. <laughs> I'm with you. Oh, good evening. Welcome to the Flamingo Room. Good evening. Hey, do you have a reservation? Uh, we're with the uh, Joe Carson party. Oh, well, follow me. <laughs> Joe. Be there in a minute, Kate. Sam, will you give her your hat? If it's all the same to you, Joe, I'd just soon keep it with me. Sam, you're out on the town tonight. Live it up a little. I know, but I... Check your hat. If you're worried about getting it back, I'll pay the nickel. <laughs> Only one of the jets had that gives me trouble. <laughs> Oh, Jim, this gave me so nice you could make it. Hi, Bert. Edith. Is uh, this the table for the young people here? Hi there, Norman. Want to get a better table, just mention my name. <laughs> You'll notice when you're with Joe Carson, you get nothing but A treatment. Best view in the house. You can see everything. <laughs> This is no place for the head of a dynasty to be sitting. I'm going to talk to the manager. No, 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 Joe. Just, just pull your chair over. Would you folks care to order some drinks? Hey, as long as it's a special occasion, why don't we order champagne for the whole house? Hey, why are you kicking me? I'm not the one that said it. <laughs> I think we'll just look at the menus. Certainly. Thank you. Hey, they're dimming the lights. Well, I can understand why. Did you get a load of those prices? <laughs> I think the show's going to start. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Club Flamingo. For your pleasure, we proudly present that new singing sensation, the fabulous, exotic Monique. Monique. There must be two singers on the show tonight. Billy Joe will probably come on right after this Italian gal's through. Wish <laughs> me luck. Oh, sure, honey. But I'm really rooting for my own daughter. <laughs> she is my own daughter. <laughs> Billy Joe. I wonder what she's made up at. <laughs> gentlemen, concludes the appearance of the fabulous Monique. Sorry. 
You're sorry. Wait a minute, mister. I came to the Flamingo Room to hear Billy Joe Bradley sing. Well, if you listen fast, you did. Now, beat it, kid. Could you get that name? And who told you to sing like that? And what about those clothes? Oh, I found them backstage, Mom. I mean, this isn't Hooterville, it's a supper club. Hey, you say that like it was a dirty word. <laughs> you just had music, too, you know. And you're going to hear it from her. Oh, no, no. If I need to empty my club, I don't need her. I can just yell fire. <laughs> if she goes, three busloads of customers leave with her. Your customers? Leave. Give a taste. Just yeah. give me five minutes and point me at the soap and water. <laughs> And now for our second star of the evening, Miss Billy Joe Bradley. I'm a girl, and by me that's only great. I am proud that my silhouette is curvy. That I walk with a sweet and girlish gait With my hips kind of swivelly and swervy I adore being dressed in something frilly When my date comes to get me at my place Out I go with my Joe or John or Billy Like a filly who is ready for the race When I have a brand new hairdo with my again, struggling with the books, and Uncle Joe's napping on the sofa. Things are sure back to normal, thank goodness. What? Where's A.K.? I was just commenting on life at the Shady Rest. We had a flurry of excitement, but that's behind us now. Billy Joe had her fling, and I think she got it out of her system. Mom, Mom, look at this message I just got from Mr. Drucker. Oh, no. Oh, you're reading. <laughs> Get a lettuce, four tomatoes, two cucumbers, and a jar of mayonnaise. Well, at least the dressing for this salad is better than the other one. It's on the other side, Mom. Oh. Billy Joe to report to Commerce Building in Pixley, 10 a.m. Saturday for interview. Regarding job as legal secretary. Well, now there is an interview I go for. And you won't have to use that ridiculous name, Monique. Yes, that is ridiculous. I think I better call myself Colette. <laughs> you didn't finish reading the rest of the note. Look at the name of the lawyer I might be working for. Jean Pierre Maurice Boudreau. <laughs> like you were saying, Kate, things sure are back to normal. <laughs> introduced countless guests on television for over 20 years. And this weekend, you'll see a great many of them all at once when TV Land presents The Ed Sullivan Show in Vertivision. Six back-to-back -back Sullivan episodes. Tomorrow night, starting at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, only on TV Land. Now stay tuned for Green Acres as Hooterville Saturday continues here in TV Land. Petticoat Junction. 